Namaste. So, today was not my best day. Let's start with that. <laughs> um, I was ready early though in the morning, which uh, was practical because I was um, before Sarosh at the, at the breakfast table. Um, and then we left. First, I don't know, 10k or something were downhill which is um, good for me. It's heavy in the arms, but I like it. Um, apart from the one little incident that there was this kid who was a little bit suicidal, I guess, because he just jumped in front of me on the road at the moment that I was passing by, as if he planned it that way. And like maybe, I don't know, three years old, four years old, um, and really, he he s knew I was coming because he just looked behind him and then at the moment I was about to pass him he started running and exactly in that direction as the one that I was driving riding so yeah that was dangerous because yeah of course I threw my complete brakes uh, I, I braked as hard as I could uh, anyway and um, yeah he, I didn't hit him thank god but still it was, um, I was a little bit shaky for the next, I don't know, 15 minutes. Um, and after a downhill, we came at an uphill part, I think, already then, or? Uh, we did some down and uphills today. Um, one of the uphills was too much for me, so this is the day that I quit. That means not quitting in total, but quitting the bike riding and walking with my bike in hand, something I tried to not do. I refused to do from principle beforehand, um, but now I really couldn't do it. I don't know why, but I, I could not do it. So I stopped and I um, got off the bike and I walked for maybe one kilometer or something with little pieces of, of driving in, uh, riding anyway, since I... Um, I tried, um, well, the, the flat pieces or the, the downhill parts, I, I, I did. And we had a break at a wonderful little, yeah, roadside shop slash cafe. <laughs> I don't know how you call these things here because they're like a mixture of everything. They sell beauty products, but also they make you drinks and I don't know. And the entire village was there and um, we sat there and drank some um, coke with them, well, Pepsi actually, on my request, <laughs> and um, yeah, we were there maybe half an hour, I don't know, to regain forces, which was actually before, the part before I quit, I think, yeah, this was the part before I quit, they were very lovely ladies, they talked with me as good as they could in English, and yeah, sign language mostly, I guess, they also met my father, Two years ago so they asked about him and about Muriel the friend with whom my father did the trip two years ago um, yeah and then I used restrooms and went oh I peed in nature two times today I like being in nature by the way <laughs> just a random uh, no to the side um, after that, well, oh, sorry, there was the part that I quit with it, which I told you about, um, after which I was really pissed, of course, because I hate being a quitter, um, I hate to disappoint people, and specifically in this case, probably my father, um, but okay, I guess I'll survive, um, well, we all die one day, but... <laughs> Um, and after that part we what happened then we took another break on the top because I was so frustrated uh, we drank some mirinda at this one talked a little bit with the hostess then we had fried uh, lentils which was very tasty but a little bit too spicy for my taste other than that it was very very good it's kind of like uh, no, there isn't even a comparison. It's 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 nice. You have to try it. <laughs> um, so after that, um, 
we continued for downhill for a while again well yeah downhill uphill a little bit flat a little bit everything nothing all too big these up uphill parts i took also so i only quit the one time today thank god um and then in the end we did a 30k kilometers that is by the way in case you're wondering i've said it a few times already but um 30 kilometers was the trip today maybe 31 30 31 something i think um and then we arrived in which what was it oh i forgot about this part we, we saw a, mo a monkey a wild monkey the ones that also live at the at the monkey temple that i talked bef to, um, about before the rhesus ones the rhesus monkeys um they also i saw one a wild one today just at the side of the road he was planning on crossing i guess but then saw us coming and went back to his safe side <laughs> um yeah but that was kind of cool and then in the last part uh, before arriving at the lunch place um there was this cute kid every every kid here um screams either namaste or hi or bye so they know english enough to or you know some of them today even screamed where are you going or where are you coming from you know <laughs> well probably without even knowing what it means exactly but um yeah they scream something at you usually when you drive by them and even i think even saroy is saroj is mistaken for why do i keep saying saroy because that's where you write it Sarosh is mistaken for a tourist every once in a while, I guess. Um, because they all think, they all scream high at him too. Um, and it, there was this one kid who was so cute. He, he was, hi, and then threw me a kiss. Like, you know, like how children can do that. He was very adorable. What the hell was that? Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> okay, I'm panicking now for some reason. Um, so yeah, that was uh, everything that happened today, more or less, until the lunch, well, uh, from the biking part of the day. Um, then we had lunch. We had dalbat with egg, because I like egg and they know it already. They standard ask for an omelette for me now. Um, this dalbat was not that bad i pff, there's so many different dalba. well it's all the same ingredients and all the same consti constitution of 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 um composition i mean of of ingredients and and, and recipes but um the way they prepare it can be so different and this one was pretty tasty i had two times today for some reason <laughs> i usually like variation but I don't like being difficult either, so it's hard to find a balance between those two. <laughs> um, yeah, and we had learned, we e even had Wi-Fi at this point. Usually the roadside restaurants don't have Wi-Fi, but this was like a little bit a bigger village, I guess, um, and there was Wi-Fi. Not that that's important, but still, yeah. Just to say that this place was, it was a hotel as well, so where we had lunch. Um, we stayed for lunch there and then we took the jeep for the rest of the, the trip it was um, by bike it was 15 15k but uh, uphill all the way is what Sarosh said um, so he um, think it was I thought it was not a good idea my father also didn't do it by bike because it was too hot on that day and same problem with me I think part of the reason that I quit was because I was sweating so hard my you know my entire body was breaking down from heat and um, exhaustion <laughs> um, yeah that's maybe exagger exaggerated a little bit but um, I really I really could not do it today um, was sweating like a pig in the in the, the, the hot sun it was burning on the parts where we were uphill that's of course when the sun came out I like the sun but this was this was was a mean sun um, yeah, and that's the reason why my father didn't do it two years ago by, by bike. Um, I did it probably because I didn't probably because I was completely broken <laughs> by then. I woke up with a completely blocked neck. Maybe you can see it a little bit, but I can turn e um, again now before I could not. So it's this part still. 
it's painful but it's functional so um yeah so we took the jeep after that i slept most of the way um until we stopped for getting gas which was so funny the way they get gas here is you know the guy that um serves you serves you the gasoline usually just uses the pump thing or some whatever it is and here he he actually had to turn manually i guess to get it up i don't know um yeah it was kind of funny so i tried to make a video of that um i was my side was blocked by our uh, driver and our sarosh so but still it was funny after that we drove further in a very 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 beautiful landscape so i was mostly awake we were like maybe 10 minutes away from the hotel and then the monsoon broke loose so rest of the time we drove in the rain um which i actually kind of enjoyed because we when we get in the jeep it's usually very dirty um or we are very dirty at that point uh, <laughs> which was of course extremely the case as well today um, so I put, put, st stuck my arms through the window when it, the monsoon started and it was really the kind of monsoon that you cannot see five meters in front of you, you know, so decent rainfall. Um, we had to ask the way a few times because they did not exactly know where the hotel was, or, since the tour usually is uh, um, organized by Spice Roads and um, they work with tenant camps most of the way so we did not do that since i was the only one who booked um no no tenant camp that which means we had to book hotels and i think saroj well it's the first time he had to book a hotel here i guess um, he's planning on starting his own company but um for now he's working um, as a coach for different organizations um, and this particular one, well, this particular tour is actually uh, organized by Spice Roads. So, yeah, I guess that's the reason. Then we arrived here, um, chill for a while. There is Wi-Fi against all expectations. <laughs> he said it's a little, a pretty basic one, so there's probably not going to be Wi-Fi. Um, but then there was, so I played <laughs> our game again i made sarosh addicted as well he's <laughs> he's pretty competitive as well so it's funny um but he we played a little bit we, i showered of course changed clothes and then we went like in the street for buying a nail file for me since my fake nails on which i treated myself for my birthday as you can see for the biggest part have um well, suffocated, no, no, what's the word? Well, died, are not the way they were anymore. So, I think it's 50, 50, no, three, five, yeah, five regular ones, five broken ones. So, yeah, um, I needed to at least take off the sharp edges and make them smooth again, which is what I did. Um, we found, well, the, the kind of file I was looking for, it's, it's nowhere to be found in the villages. It's like the cardboard one, I guess, with the with sand surface or whatever it is. So what I what they came up with, the one thing that they had is this one, which is pretty cute. Maybe some of you know. And it has this metal file part. It's not very clear on the camera, but okay. Um, but cool thing about this one, and I bought it for like half a euro, so is it is a pocket knife also, as you see here. It has a knife, which I, for some reason, cannot get out now. Probably because my nail is dead. And it has the can opener parts. I'll show you. Ta-da! Of course, I have a very decent pocket knife, but, well, for traveling, this isn't that bad. So, in case you don't find the pocket knife, you still have the scissors nail scissors made in korea available for for only 70 rupees go to your local grocery store now <laughs> sorry 
no. Um, yeah, we bought that. We wanted to walk a little bit, but since it was still raining, I could not, and I was only wearing like uh, cotton shoes or something. We could not go far since the water was blocking everything. We agreed upon chilling a little bit more and then meeting for drinks and dinner after, which is what we finished now. And there means the end of the day. Uh, now I'm gonna read a little bit more in my book, which is um. In the beginning, I didn't like it so much, which is the reason why I started it over three times. But now I'm completely fascinated by it. It's it's called Wild Swans. At least in, in Dutch, I guess it will be the same in English. And it's a autobiographic novel about Jung Chang, which is the, the writer, of course, um, and her ancestors. So her grandma's generation, um, and then her mother's generation and her gener well her life as a teenager and everything. And it um, paints a picture of, of China. Uh, throughout the 20th century, I guess that must have been, um, yeah, which is like the point where the, the kings um, ceased existing and communism and specifically Mao took over China. Um, I am at the, in the 60s now and I'm curious what it will turn out to be. I'm 390 pages in now, so it's still a while. I like historical books, historical novels, so that's what I will be doing tonight. Of course, I will also be calling my boyfriend. So that's it for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. If not, if there is not Wi-Fi available, um, I will make my video anyway and upload it the next day. So have a good evening. Bye.